So here with Alex Collier, who is the runner-up in the Leadership Awards. Uh, Alex, what was your project? Um, so my project is about enabling uh, leadership training for other student nurses. So I was very fortunate. I'm on the National um, Junior Leadership Academy. Um, and there's a few student nurses from that pro program who are here tonight. Um, but I had the opportunity to meet some really inspirational nurse leaders and learn from them and learn about their journey um, and, and their nursing career. Um, so I'm also um, on a program with the NHS Leadership Academy. And so I've had all these great experiences. Um, but I wanted to get that out to the wider sort of population of student nurses and enable them to have some of the um, opportunities that I've had. Um, so my project looks at the, the new NHS leadership model, uh, which has been proposed by the NHS Leadership Academy. Um, and it's what's the best way to get that tool out to all the other student nurses in the country. Um, so I don't know what it's gonna, the end product's going to look like yet. Um, it might be a new educational package. It might be um, a new learning project. Um, I don't know yet. Um, but yeah. That was my proposal, that's what I've won for tonight. Um, and so hopefully in the next few months um, I can spend some time at the Department of Health um, with some inspirational nurse leaders and find out what the best way to get that tool out there is. So that's fantastic. So you really are thinking about not only your own studies but also the future of, indeed, the future of student nursing. Um, I'd, yeah, my project's more about enabling leadership rather than me as an individual. Um, I think all student nurses need to go out to practice with a much more strong idea of what they can achieve. Um, but also everyone, we always say the same thing, we're all about this high standard of patient care. How we make that in reality um, is probably our hardest challenge. Um, so my project's looking at how we, as a new generation of nurses, can create that cultural change and make it sustainable. So why do you think it's important for student nurses to have leadership training so early on in their training? Um, so most nurses don't currently receive leadership training until they're in band 6 or band 7 posts, which is too late. They're already in a leadership position by then. Um, and even as a student nurse, it was only through the National, leadership, uh, National Junior Leadership Academy I became aware that student nurses are already in a leadership role. Patients are looking to you. I work in child branch nursing. Families are looking to you as a student nurse to, do, um, to be the link between effectively the medical jargon and, and the system and what's going on with their child. Patients, are, uh, especially families in children's nursing, are hungry for information and they always look to the student nurse because you're kind of seen as neutral. Um, but yeah, student nurses do actually have a leadership role, not only to, um, to families, but also to other student nurses. We all look at each other for advice and for inspiration. Um, and actually, the, the leadership role of the nurse starts the day you start your nursing degree, um, not when you're a band six, you're a band seven. Nurses need to start leadership training a lot earlier on in their careers, especially um, with the largest profession in the NHS. But our voices are quite often not heard. Um, and so yeah, we really, I think, need to start empowering nurses from much earlier on in their careers. Okay, brilliant. So. What other challenges do you see then that student nurses are facing at the moment? Challenges wise, we're very well supported, I've got to say that. Um, I think the challenges are when by the time we qualify, um, that's something to mention, I think the length of student nurses training is increasing. I'm on a four year degree um, and there's obviously the proposal at the moment that other student nurses coming through will have to do an extra year as a HCA. So by the time we actually get out into practice and are actually um, at the side of patients, um, we're going to be working in an NHS that's going to have a lower number of registered nurses um, with budget constraints um, and time constraints. Um, and so we're already thinking now about how we can address those problems. Um, and again, that's what the great thing about the leadership tool is. It's trying to enable all student nurses coming through to have the best mindset, the best understanding and the best skill set to actually deal with those challenges once we register and are out there in the real world. How do you feel that working as an HCA would you know, benefit? I mean. Um, so I'm currently on a four-year course at the University of Southampton. I do two years of uh, child branch training and two years of adult training. So if you included the fifth year where I had to work as a HCA for a year, um, that's obviously a five-year degree, so that's the same as a, student, as a medical student. Um, so that's, that's a lot of time that nurses are spending in university rather than out in the world surrounding community where we need to be. Um, but also the, the balance is right now, 50% clinical practice and 50% academic work. Um, and you know, we, 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 when it's busy, we are used to HGAs. HGAs, that is the reality of the situation. Um, so actually, if we had to repeat that for another year, that's just delaying time until we're actually out there registered in the workforce. And you know, coming towards the end now, what sort of things are you actually most looking forward to just finishing your qualifications and just getting your, getting your, your nurse's uniform and getting out into the world? Um, the reality is I don't know where I'm going. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm at the halfway point of my program. I'm just finishing child branch training. I'm about to go to adults for two years. Um, my background is in the ambulance service, did four years in the ambulance service. I'm really looking forward to actually getting out there, being at patient's side full time. Um, actually, where I'm going to be working, honestly, don't know yet.
people will be watching this thinking that maybe they should apply or maybe they should go for that interview and yeah. try and maybe get a scholarship award to, to enhance their student life. What would you say to those people who are maybe thinking about it but not quite there yet? If you've got an idea, if you've got a vision for nursing, if you've got something, any small thought in your head that could really make a great improvement to patients' lives, apply, make it happen. Um, that's why I applied. I thought, I've got this idea, it might work, it might not. I'm going to go and ask some other great n nurses about it. Um, and that's why I applied. I just wanted to get current nurse leaders' opinion on my project. Um, and I've been very well supported in that. As I've got the uh, runner-up award. But yeah, any student nurse who's got any bright idea that can make a difference to any patient, please apply. It's, it's a great um, scholarship programme and you'll meet some great people along the way. Well, I can say I've been interviewing people all day and it's been tough competition, so very well done. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you for your time.